8.30 in the morning, already stripped down to my t-shirt, got my shorts on, the sun is out, I haven't encountered rain yet. I've been really fortunate so far on my trip, I've, I've met incredible people, I've seen some beautiful things so far, nothing but beautiful weather, good food, just good vibes, everything's going really well as planned. So right now I'm climbing Bonza Mountain. Bonza Mountain is about 2,000 feet elevation. Nothing crazy steep, just really consistent climb. So I'm just cruising along here, not killing myself, not drilling myself into the ground. None of this P90X stuff, burn yourself out. Just cruising along, just enjoying life, looking at the mountains. And as I was climbing this, I started thinking about all these fad diets and all these get rich quick schemes that are out there telling you to buy their protein powder, take this creatine powder so you can get big. And it's just, it, it's mind boggling that people, and I myself, I was, a, I was a huge person who used to buy into that as well. You know, wanted to get my health from a bottle, but it really comes down to a few simple principles. And, and I think some of those principles are trying to get eight to 10 hours of sleep a night. Try to get sleep, sleep's important. When your body's stressed, your cortisol levels are high, you store fat. So get lots of sleep, get the early nights, get the early mornings. The other thing's hydration. Start each day with at least a liter of water. A liter of water is essential just to get your body started in the morning and get you back to your proper hydration levels. The other thing you want to do, eat a clean diet. Rich in fresh fruits and vegetables. That's going to be the optimal diet for you. Fresh fruits, vegetables. When you eat real food, You'll be thriving. You eat dead food, you'll feel like dead. So the last principle I'd like to stress is consistency and exercise. You don't have to bust your chops when you're working out. You don't have to put in these crazy hard sessions. Maybe once a week do something that you're breathing a little heavier than normal, but most of the time, you should just be cruising at the pace I'm cruising at right now. Looking around. Looking around, just enjoying the scenery. You should be working out at a nice talking pace. So if you go for a jog with your friend, you should be able to talk to them. You shouldn't be panting and breathing so hard that you can't carry a conversation with them. You should just be out with your friends, out with your family, move in your bodies. Because our bodies are designed to be moved. They're not designed to be in a chair all day, sitting down, staring at a computer. So put down the Facebook for a little bit. Go for a walk with your kids or your family, or leave them at home and use that as the perfect excuse to get away and spend some time to yourself. Because when you spend time by yourself, you really get to think about what your priorities are and what's important to you in life. And you know, since I've got out here, I haven't listened to any music. I've been cycling between five and six hours a day. Just thinking about, thinking about life and what I want and where I want to be in 10 years, where I want to be in 15 years, what I want to be doing when I'm 40 or 50. So I think sometimes we get a little caught up in our iPhone society and we tend to stop thinking. We stop thinking about what's important and what we want. And I think at the very gist of it all, our health's one of the most important things. And if you don't have your health, you can't do anything. So while I'm traveling across Canada, making these videos, do me a favor, 
start to eat some real food, fresh fruits, vegetables, whether it's your favorite fruit or whether it's potatoes, corn, rice, pasta, load up on those things, cut out the processed foods and move your body a little bit more. Just be consistent with it and just enjoy, enjoy the process because nothing happens in 90 days, it happens over months, years, and decades.